for your information we're using the mobile net ssd object detection model then we have access to the other cameras because these adapt cameras so we have now i'm accessing the left one okay oh hi there my name is sergio i'm a computer vision developer consultant and course instructor and i help companies and freelancers to easy and efficiently build computer vision software we are going to see today the OpenCV AI kit light version which i recently got and in this specific video we will see at the beginning what is this device and what are the features and what you can use this for second we will see how to install this on windows but in general on any machine because the installation is very similar for linux and mac as well and third we're going to see test the software which comes with this device and we're going to see some benchmarks just to be clear there is no sponsorship for this hardware it's just me testing i bought this myself from the kickstarter campaign and i'm going to test this one as i did for other devices which are the interview sense which are the uh, nvidia jetson xavier so you can expect also in the future that i will bring some comparison and also pros and cons of each device so let's start first of all seeing what is this and then we will go and test the device let's go okay this one is how the device looks like uh there are okay first of all let's see it's very small so it's the size it depends on how big is your hand but it's similar to my hand size and it has a 4k rgb camera which is this one at the center and then it has two stereo cameras on the sides and we use the stereo camera to get the depth so more specifically we will know through the stereo cameras how far is each object and also this is very good if you want to take the scenario into a three-dimensional space because you know the uh, the depth of each position that you see on the frame also this is not just a camera because inside right here it's inside there is a cpu which can process the artificial intelligence this means that all the processing of the object detection object segmentation or whatever you put inside for the computer vision is done right here by this device and the computer will just show the output so no processing in the computer but everything will be handled by this device and this is very useful especially if you want to have for example a raspberry pi which is very weak in terms of computer power but you can have the processing done in computer vision pretty much anywhere because this is very small now to run this one you just need simply to uh, there is uh, only one entrance and you need the USB C connected right here. And then, of course, you connect this one with the computer with a simple USB. Let's see if we can get that one. Okay, we can't, but it's just a simple USB 3. And now, once you connect this one to the computer, let's see the installation and later the tests. Uh, for the installation, we're going to refer to the official documentation. And it takes only a few lines of code. We're going to do that right now. And by the way, all the commands that I'm using will be on the blog post. You will find the link below. So if you want, you don't have to type, you can just copy and paste the same lines and you will find them on the blog post. And I will put the link down below in the description. Uh, first of all, you need to open the terminal. So we type on the search bar, bar of window command prompt or CMD. And we have right here the windows command prompt. Uh, once on, we are on Windows command prompt, we need to clone the package, which is depth AI. So git clone github.com luxonics depth AI. And we're going to paste that right here. So let me copy because I didn't copy that. And we're going to paste that right here. And then let's press enter. You, we will see cloning into depth AI. If for any reason you see an error which says that git is not a command found on windows it means that you have also to install the git command and so i'm going also to put that link for the git command which is this one there is a git package which is just a few megabytes you install that one and then you can run the git command so if you get an error when you say git clone just install this package uh, it's this one right here download for windows click here to download i'm going also to put the link for this one below 
uh, in the description. And then let's now move on with the rest. So once we are uh, once we downloaded the package, we need to access the package. The package name is Dept AI. So what we do, we say CD, which stands for change directory. Now we are entering in the Dept AI directory. Dept AI directory. So you, you will see your username and then you are sure that you're inside the folder when you see Dept AI right here. So we change the folder and we enter inside Dept AI. Now that, that are we, uh, we are inside the folder, we can run the command to execute everything that we want to execute on this folder. And in this specific case, we want to install the libraries. How do we do that? We have right here Python install requirements. So let's copy this one. So I'm going actually to, to paste this one. Python, so that we can run Python. Then install requirements.py. If you have Ubuntu or different versions of Linux, most likely you will need to run Python 3. Uh, so Python 3 install because on Linux to distinguish Python 2 from Python 3, you need to put Python 3 if you have Python 3. If you have only Python, it will be Python 2, it will be Python. On Windows, you have all, only Python. So just Python install requirements.py. And this, by the way, will work also for the Mac. It's very easy. A similar installation on all the devices. Also, if you have the, you have the Raspberry Pi, it should be somewhere similar. Python install requirements.py and let's press enter. I should have already most of the libraries installed because I installed uh, the previous version of the OpenCV AI kit in the past and so it works uh, pretty similar. In fact, we see that it's the, removing the old one and install this again. But it it might uh, take a while depending on the speed of your connection and depending on the uh, libraries that you have already installed. So I'm going to pause this and be back when everything is installed. And now that the installation is finished, it should take, uh, let's say, less than one minute usually. Uh, let's run this one. Python dept AI underscore demo dot pi. And this is by default what we see when we run the demo software. We have on the left side of the screen the output of the camera that we get from the camera. And on the right side, we have a menu where you, we can choose different models and different settings that we want to apply in real time. Let's start now taking a look at the output. The output right now, this is the frame and we are already detecting something. You can see that there is an object detection model running, which is detecting person and probably is detecting some other objects, but we will see that. Okay, it's not detecting the phone, but it's detecting the person. We have a menu, a small menu right here where we can choose the cameras that we are using because there are three cameras, one 4K RGB camera and then two stereo cameras. So we can access now the color, we're checking the normal frame, we can access the input. Okay, this is what is processed by the neural network for the detection and we see we have five frames per second now with this neural network that we're using. For your information, we're using the mobile net SSD object detection model. Then we have access to the other cameras because these are adapt cameras. So we have, now I'm accessing the left one. Okay. Okay, I'm using this camera. We can use the right one. And then we have also the depth. So you see the closer the object, the more clear, the farther, the more there is the depth. Then we have depth row. Uh, you might be wondering, okay, the depth is not so clear. You can see that there are black spots. Usually with the depth, we use some filtering to fill that spot. But this is just a demo. It's not important right now to focus on these specs. Let's instead, uh, check how we can use the demo and how we can test the different models because the only purpose of this demo is not to build your project because this is just made for testing very quickly things. So first of all, from, from the menu, we can choose on AI the CNN model and we have a few models which are ready to test. We have the mobile SSD net which is running by default as first model when you run this program. Then we have a few other different detection models. 
and not only detection because it is also the segmentation so detection is when you surround the object anything with a boundary box like we have right now then we have for example a deep lab for the person to segment the exactly the person so we choose for example the model that we want to test we click apply and restart and we wait that these settings are applied and this might take a while because the model by default is not installed so when you click apply and restart it's downloading the new model and it takes a while also depending on the speed of your connection you see now we have the segmentation around the person it's probably not the best segmentation but that's not problem of the open cv kit but that's problem of the light model so light model usually is fast but not very precise also we can try for example phase detection human pose estimation let's try human pose estimation okay this is i guess that this is probably okay it's taking only only the upper part because there is nothing more than i'm showing and it's running at around seven eight frames per second this one uh, let's okay, we have vehicle detection i don't have any vehicles right here person by detection open pause which is another pause estimation so let's try also open pause 2. Okay, open pause 2 this works a bit similar to the previous one and then let's try yolo because there is some yolo version by default that you can run we have tiny yolo version 3 tiny yolo is the light version of yolo so we can run this one to see what are the benchmarks of this version and it seems running at around five frames per second the neural network and let's also try the full version of yolo and let's see what we get so we have, we have yolo version 3 so this is by the way the older version so newer version will have more precision but again i'm repeating this is just a demo to see what you can expect by this device in terms of performances for uh, fps then to see how precise is the model it's matter you should do that already with uh, the computer or other devices not with this one and we have 1.8 1.8 frames per second so almost each let's say each half a second we get the frame process how is this result i will say in general you will say this is a terrible result but for such a small device okay i'm not i can't take that now because it's fixed but for such a small device like the opencv uh, ai kit light it's quite an impressive result if you consider that you can uh, if you use only the processor or the computer you're getting a similar speed and you're getting this everything from this device uh, and then we have a lot of things that we can tune on the depth properties for example the depth range where you can start from a minimum to a maximum range to show on the depth here it shows from zero to 10 meters so uh, normally this depth camera for example the real sense as a precision a good precision up to uh, around two meters uh, to say what is the precision of this device i haven't seen any benchmarks i will need to test this in the future so regarding that we will see in the future after after we do some testing then there are other things that you can tune right here i found that one i recommend to just check the official documentation and of course i'm going to put the link for the official documentation on the blog post below then we have camera we can set the cameras because we have three cameras we have one rgb camera and two stereo cameras you can choose the frames per second of the rgb uh, camera which is supposed to get up to 60 frames per second while the stereo cameras at least on the older version on the other version of the open cvi kit they were supposed to get around 120 frames per second and i, I guess that's the same you can choose the resolution of all the cameras right here and then we have misc uh, here is some other options to send anonymous data for recording this and also you can see temperature cpu and memory in real time of the device well this is what i've been going so far from the testing it's for sure an interesting device 
I will not be able to say yet more about this because I will need to test properly before telling you how you should use this and for what reason. Of course, this uh, device is very good for prototyping, so to get things uh, working very quickly, you can't expect to have things uh, running at 30 frames per second or something very extraordinary because that's still something that at least in this moment it's not possible unless you have very powerful nvidia graphic cards this is all for this video i will be coming in the future again we we have the intel Sense camera more about the opencv AI kit and i will be uh, building and testing prototypes for industrial usage and to see what we can achieve with all this i recommend that you can check my services on pysource.com i have courses I can offer consulting services for companies and this is all. See you on the next video.